What is up everyone? Back again today with another one. You know, I'm all about trying new flavors and getting other people to try new flavors. Get those taste buds working out. Try something different. Try something from your normal routine. So today I'm headed for some Latin cuisine. So if you've never tried any of this, this might be something you want to see. So come along with me as I scout out 702. everyone here I am today I'm outside of Cubanidad this is a Cuban restaurant located right here in Las Vegas now they have two locations now one just opened up in the Henderson part of town I am at the Summerlin location I will put both of the locations on the screen somewhere for you guys to check them out now this place they have that authentic style Cuban food none of that fast food to go style stuff this is all authentic home style like mom used to make so let's roll inside there and see what they're cooking for today All right, so right here I got the media noche, which is a different version of a Cuban sandwich. So this one has roasted pork, smoked ham, Swiss cheese, pickles, some homemade mustard sauce, so none of that Krabby Patty type of mustard, and it's a sweet egg dough bread for a little bit of extra sweetness to it. All right, so right here with, with a more traditional plate, you have some congri, which is the rice here. You have some beef steak, which has a garlic cilantro, and I believe those are pickled onions, Right there, some yuca, which is something similar to potato, almost. And then on top of that, we have some chicharrones. And then right here, have an empanada, which has ground beef and olives. Yo, this looks banging. All right, so first thing I got on here, I got the Midnight Havana sandwich. This is a, a different variation of a Cuban sandwich. I absolutely love Cuban sandwiches. This thing looks freaking great. Excellent juiciness to this. Nice crust on the, on the top of this. Uh, Cuban bread right here. This thing looks freaking great. Let's take a bite of it already. This thing is excellent, man. I absolutely love Cuban sandwiches. This thing is hitting the mark for sure. A great taste and pickle on there, which is real nice power, uh, powering and taste to it. You got the cheese, the ham, the pork on there. And of course that mustard on there, you can't go wrong with this flavoring. It's excellent for sure. And of course you got the nice char to this bread. This thing's great, man. Also over here is a nice little side dish. You got an empanada. This one has ground beef and uh, olives in it. Let's try a bite of this thing. Mmm, that's really good, actually. Never had one with olives in it before. Nice little taste to it. This is a pretty good little side thing to go. Also, more and more keep coming. I got a platano maduro here. These things are plantains. Anybody who doesn't know what a platano is, Similar to a banana, but it does not taste anything like one. These things are so sweet. Nice and thick right here. This one looks freaking great. Let's try it already. Yeah, the sweetness of this thing is real good, man. These are nice and juicy. Fresh out the, off the oven right here. Fresh out of the fryer. This thing is definitely a good bonus to add to your meal. All right, so I'm trying out another dish here. This is more of a traditional uh, Cuban dish right here. Uh, got some rice here. Some black beans in here, some congri. We have some uh, beef steak and uh, some yuca. So let's try some of this first. Mm. Nice traditional taste. This is definitely going to bring you back if you're Cuban or Hispanic at all who used to eat this type of food back home. This is that type of taste that's going to bring you back home, like mom's cooking right here. Now I got a little bit of beef steak. This one has some pickled onions on it, I think. Got a little bit of garlic butter sauce on it too as well. Looks good, let me try it out. All right, this is good. That pickled, that pickled onion, not something I would usually get. Tastes pretty good added with this though. And the onions, the garlic butter on here, the steak. This is excellent. And the last thing I'm gonna try in this dish is a little bit of yuca right here. And for those of you who don't know what yuca is, um, 
I barely know what it is either. I think it's like a root. It almost tastes similar to a potato. Similar, not exact, but similar. I never was a fan of these growing up, but I'm gonna try this one out for you guys right here. Yeah, it reminds me of potato, same texture. These ones are a little thicker, like more denser, so it's a little more of a bite to take into. It's a good solid, you know, piece of uh, food to eat. But again, like I said, it's just not my thing. But if you like yuca or anything close to potato, you might want to try this one out with your meal. All right, so I'm gonna try something a little more unique right here with this Cuban sandwich. Got a fresh one right here. I'm gonna add a platano to it. If yo, if this thing hits, don't forget who's the one who showed it to you first, all right? I'm the maker of this thing, don't forget it. Mm-hmm. That's a hit. Add the platano to your, your Cuban sandwich. This thing's already more, so now I'm moving on to the dessert. I ended up going with some flan here. Nice and juicy. This, this container has so much freaking juice in the bottom of it. Looks absolutely fantastic. Let me see how it tastes. Though. Really moist on the inside. Nice and wet. This thing's good, man. Tastes like it's freshly made. This is definitely good right here. Go for this dessert. They have a couple other ones over there too that look real good. I just went with this one up for today. All right, everyone, so that's gonna do it for today. The food from this place today was absolutely great. It tasted extremely traditional, very authentic. You know, this is the stuff when you come home from, from school, whatever you ask mom what's for dinner tonight, that's how it tasted, exactly like mom would make it. I definitely would highly recommend this place. They did have three variations of that Cuban sandwich, so I went with a different one. Pretty much the main difference in the one that I got was the bread. It was soaked in a, some type of dough, type of egg wash. So it made it sweeter, almost like the same texture of a uh, French toast or something like that. So it's definitely very good. I highly recommend that place. Great little customer service in there. Now, I went to the one that's in Summerlin. The, the other location in Henderson, they do offer a couple other little items on the menu from day-to-day -day basis. For example, today, if we would have got at the, the Henderson location, they had some, uh, some French toast I would have liked to have tried out. But it's just something to know for if you do want to go to one of these places. Maybe try the Henderson location or the Summerlin and see what's on the menu for that day. But if you guys did enjoy this content, please, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. A lot of content headed your way. You're not going to want to miss this. Anything you guys got to say to me in the comment section, put it down there below. Any place you guys want me to visit in another location for another time, let me know down there if I'm going to check it out for you guys. But until next time, I'm out of here. Later.